Okay. I am live. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for someone. Stay to, to the left to Valley Hill Loop. Oh man. Jeez. Dang it! Ugh. I really need to turn around, but this car in a quarter of a mile. Really up my ass. Turn left on Valley Hill Loop. He's about to get into an accident because he's too close, and I'm trying to slow down. He doesn't want to. So. What are you... What is this guy doing? Alright. Do this live stream. In 1,000 feet, turn left. In 2.5 miles, turn left on Kaisen Road. Huh? There's Valley Hill. Gosh, man, that is a really sharp turn. Hold on. Okay. All right, sorry about that, guys. Doing my delivery and my GPS messed up and it <laughs> didn't tell me when to turn. So I ended up being far away from my delivery. Ended up being far away from my delivery, so I had to really just focus on that and take care of that real quick. Um, but I really want to do this video. Ugh. I'm just going to wait for people to get in because I don't even know if they can hear me right now. <laughs> one person to join oh I think someone should join, I think. What time is it? 7.25? It's not too late yet, I don't think. minute 
I would do a recorded version of this, but I know how much you guys love the live. So. seconds and then I'll start and then you guys can watch the post stream Ooh. windy windy day all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and start the live stream um, first having a good day so for good night so far Now, judging from the title, the video is going to be about. Um, and first off, I just want to say that I want to start this video in a super of his at the very beginning. And, um, and I'm very glad that, you know, he's doing the Lord's work, and I'm very happy about that. However, however, I have a few things against you, Nathan. You know, really, I didn't even want to do this live stream. I really didn't. But I felt like it was really necessary, and I was getting a calling to tell videos not meant or even though I what Nathan says recently I've noticed there's some things that ample um, his view on the Torah on the Torah um, first off it's very clear that Nathan doesn't really understand what the Torah really is because if he did he wouldn't be attacking it to clarify the Torah is the first five books of the Bible and God's instructions to all of us. Um, he gave us this out of love. Um, it's part of his word. It's the first five books of the Bible. Now, what bothers me is Nathan's referred to the first five books of the Bible. He's already referred to Torah several times when trying to prove the We know Genesis is in trying to grow in my faith, but Genesis, um, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy, um, those, that's the Torah right there, those five books. Um, and another reason why I want to do this video is I feel like Nathan's unknowingly letting people astray. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's a pride issue. I don't know, um, what it is. Um, but let me charge this real quick. Put this in the charger. Before my phone dies. And everything that I said gets lost. Okay, now we're good. Alright. So, um, am I saying that I know everything? No. I would be a fool. If If I, if I was to claim that I know everything, I'd be, I'd be an absolute fool, right? Um, the only thing I know in regards to the Bible 
is the things that the Holy Spirit has shown me. That's all I know. Um, I've prayed about this. Um, I've talked to the Lord about this. And I've told him, I'm like, look, Lord, if I've said anything incorrect about, well, about Torah or any of that, if anything about that I've said about Torah is incorrect, please tell me. You know, I've, I've told, I've asked him. And, you know, I'm still asking him. And he hasn't, he hasn't shown me otherwise that I was wrong about this. Um, another thing too is they, they these types of people don't think that it's possible to follow the instructions of Torah and follow in the ways of Christ as well. They don't think that's po possible because they think the two are different and they conflict each other. I'm here to tell you guys that's not true. They don't conflict any anything. In fact, Jesus' followers lived by the Torah and followed Jesus every day of his life. It's, it's, it's stated plenty of times in the Bible. Um, another issue that I want to address is the issue of what is the law. Um, first off, you need to understand that there are two different types of law that were written down. The first one is known as the Law of Moses. It was the one that was dictated to Moses from God and then, or it was dictated from, sorry, it was dictated, um, well, yeah, that's right, to Moses from God. Um, and he basically copied it down. Now there's another, there's another written, there's another set law and it's known as the Law of God. And it's etched by the finger by his finger. It's stated that in the Bible. Um, another reason you can tell that there are they are too different is the Bible clearly states that the law of God was placed inside the Ark of the Covenant, and the law of Moses was placed outside of the Ark of the Co of the Ark of the Covenant, where the Bible says it shall be it shall be there to stand as witness. Basically, it's there as a reminder to, to show that at one point, the law of Moses was in effect. Um, let me clarify something right now to everybody. The law of Moses is not in effect anymore. No more. The, on, the only thing that's in effect and that will always remain in effect until Yahushua as stated in the Bible, when Yahushua says, um, until heaven and earth fade away, not one dot nor tittle shall be removed from my father's law. That is the law of God, not the law of Moses. It's two different things. And it and it's very easy to find this out. It only took me a few minutes to find these verses. And that's the big nail in the coffin at least for me anyway, is that is um, one was placed inside the ark, one was left outside. And it's clearly stated in the Bible. And if anyone wants to know that, wants to know those verses, I will happily share them with you as long as you ask for them. Um, and the reason why this is bad, another reason why this is bad is because this is getting people to believe that we don't have to follow the Ten Commandments anymore. Guys, Christ followed the Ten Commandments. His disciples followed the Ten Commandments. Anybody that follows Christ has followed the Ten Commandments. In fact, the Bible says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. What commandments is, is, is he talking about? Exactly. Now, Nathan... If you do end up watching this, I doubt you will, but if you do end up watching it, just know that God just know that God's watching. And he knows. <laughs> he knows. He knows who's right and who's wrong. 
And all I'm going to say, you better hope you're right. You better hope what you're saying is right. Because if you're wrong about what you're saying, you're in trouble. And I believe you even mentioned a comment that said the Torah kills or the Torah is evil. Well, that's a part of the word of God. And by that logic, you're, you're calling a part of the word of God evil. Not good, Nathan. Not good. Anyway, I wanted to keep this as short as possible. So if you guys got any more questions about this, I'll gladly share this with you. Just, just in a closing, just know you can follow the instru instructions of Torah and follow in the ways of Christ. And that's what Christ would want you to do. And I will argue and I will debate anybody all day long. I will defend this. Because I believe it's that important. It's not good to lead people astray, even if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm going to ask Nathan, please stop. Please repent. Please turn to the Lord. Please ask him for forgiveness. Because what you're saying about Torah is not biblical. Not one bit. You're listening to the opinions of man. And that's very dangerous. Anyway... I hope you all, I got to go. So I hope you all have a great day. And as I said, any comments, questions, or concerns, as long as they're, as long as they're not hateful or spiteful, drop them down in the comments section. All right, guys. I love y'all. Peace and love, guys.